Sometimes in woodworking, we have pieces that are very fine and thin. My planer will go down to a half an inch, three eighths of an inch fairly reliably. But once I get anything thinner than that, it gets a little bit tough to get a really uniform, consistent piece without any gouging, digging out, or final refinements. I want that final product to be uniform in my piece throughout. What I'm working on right now is a pizza peel that has some pinstripes in it that are gonna be alternating a quarter of an inch and a half an inch. That half an inch, maybe I could do, but because it's pinstripes, I wanna make sure that they're very, very uniform. So to accomplish this, I'll take my stock down to close to what I need and then take it over to uh, my new planing skid. I'll show you how I make that skid. There's an inch. It's a quarter of an inch. And I've done a test piece. I'll glue the end on first. And make sure it's square. And we'll line that up with this outside edge and tack it in place so that it's straight using one and a quarter inch long finishing nail. And we're using it on the outside, not in the rail part. Can I get this in? Hang on. Okay going to be set in a little bit so I want to figure out where that is first. Best way to check it is by using the plane and I'll just draw a line so my glue line doesn't go outside of that. I'm going to hit one nail on this end first. So the idea is this is a three quarter of an inch distance down here. If I need to plane off a board to a half an inch, I'll put in a quarter of an inch piece of MDF. And that'll lower this or raise the bottom distance effectively to make this a half an inch. If I need a quarter of an inch, then I can put a half an inch piece of MDF in there. Um, if I need narrower stuff, I can either make a new jig or <laughs> add different layers to um, space it the way I need it. Oh, on this end down here, I'll drill a hole in it here for hanging, and this extra part is so that I can clamp it to my workbench with a hold fast. Hmm. Got clamps, I might as well use them.
Perfect. I have four pieces of quarter inch or close to quarter inch material here that I want to take down to a quarter of an inch. Um, so I'm going to use my jig, my planing skid, to get those uniformly to the same thickness. You can see that these pieces are close, but not perfectly the same height. Got a bit of difference. I want to make sure that they're the same thickness throughout the whole piece. So there's a couple of things in the setup. First of all, the grain on the sides, I want to make sure I'm planing with the grain heading in an upward direction where the grain runs from somewhat from this corner up to this top corner. And so this is the direction I want to go, not this direction where I'll be starting at a low angle and the fibers are falling away because the fibers of the wood are coming up at an angle like this and that would tear into them. So especially with maple, it's a little bit more difficult. So I have those all oriented the same direction. In my planing jig, I first want to make sure that I don't have any little bits of um, shavings in there that are going to change my depth any. Because I want to make sure that I'm not dropping the plane off on the end, I've decided to put an extra spacer block down here that will allow the front edge of the plane to ride on the rails a little bit longer so that the blade is definitely clear of my work. You can see I hardly have any blade protruding at all. Um, you look down the front edge of the plane and there you go. That's about how much I have sticking up. It's hardly any at all. It's almost flat. Just a very, very tiny bit. That also allows you to make sure that the amount of blade protruding is even all the way across the surface. That's really, really critical to make sure that the blade isn't digging in one side farther than the other. So that'll give you an angled piece instead of super flat. What the rails are going to do is ensure that as the plane goes through and it reaches that bottom level, I'm not canting at all. It's going to be just solidly resting on these rails. Take the shavings out every time so you can see whether or not um, you're getting clean cuts. It also keeps those shavings from getting down into your work where it can set things off. Getting close to no shavings coming off. My chronometer says just a little bit on this end, and I was seeing I was picking up a little bit on the back end. Just a few more shavings down here to get it evened up. Okay, everything is consistent from one end to the other. Um, 0.265 and 264. So that's within a thou. I'm really happy with that. Um, the eyes are not going to pick up that difference from one length to the other on my board. I hope you find this plane skid a useful tool in your shop. I know I will in mine. It's almost like training wheels for a plane where it kind of teaches you too what you're doing wrong as you're planing. You can tell, am I pushing harder on one side than the other? Do I tend to scoot my plane over it halfway through the planing process? What am I doing wrong? 